communication with the users. Absolutely. So I think, you know, we, there's a great story. Um, and it starts in the 1920s of British occupied Burma with a young military captain named Eric Arthur Blair. Now, he was stationed at a rural outpost and he received news one day that a work elephant had escaped its enclosure and was running rampage through the marketplace. Big elephant, upsetting carts, trampling people. Now, being part of the British Army, he was charged with taking care of the safety of that community. So he located his rifle, hurried three miles on foot to the area, and the elephant was gone. Now, he tracked the elephant down and found it grazing peacefully in a field. About 3,000 onlookers had gathered behind him as he was tracking this elephant down. Now, he could see that the elephant posed no danger in the field, but he still took aim, and because of the expectation that he would subdue that beast, he shot it. Now, Captain Eric Arthur Blair later adopted the pen name George Orwell, and he wrote about this experience in an essay entitled Shooting the Elephant. And there was a particular line from the essay that I loved in the closing paragraph, and it said, I wondered if any of the others knew that I did it solely to avoid looking a fool. Now, I think we can agree that if one of the greatest literary giants of the 20th century, George Orwell, can succumb to what's called peer pressure, so can our users. When they engage our technology, they feel foolish. When they engage any technology, we in the business, we think in ones and zeros. We see this all the time. It's easy for us. It's second nature. And so our workforce that operates under security, under the CISO, speaks to our users in a fashion that makes them feel foolish. And therefore, they're unapproachable. And if we can close that communication gap, if we can understand that they feel foolish when engaging technology and we can speak to them and, and engage them differently, we might be able to provide this. And our weakest link, of course, is always the users from phishing attacks, right? So being socially engineered. The bad guys aren't getting in lest somebody make a mistake. The technology doesn't make mistakes, right? It's the people. And so I think our technologists need to become more people people and our people need to become more technologists. That might help.